Hey everybody, it is week 49 and we are not in my garage. <laughs> I love snow days. I, I, I mean, I know people like them, but I love them. I think I get it from my mom. If you were gonna ask her what her favorite holiday is, she wouldn't say Easter or Christmas. She wouldn't say Boxing Day. And she wouldn't say everybody's favorite Thanksgiving. She would say a snow day. Because with a snow day, there's no pressure. There's actually a relief from pressure, right? There's zero expectations. If it's a good snow day, then, then everything's closed. You can't go to work, you can't go to school, all the deadlines are pushed one day back, all the homework assignments one day back, all the tests one day back, all the projects one day back. And if it's on, uh, if the snow day's on a Friday, then you get all weekend, right? Snow days are awesome. I think if you were gonna ask, uh, if you were gonna ask God to tell us what the Trinity's favorite holiday is, I don't think God would say snow day, but I think God would say something really similar. I think God would say Sabbath. Sabbath, the seventh day of creation, when God chooses to rest with creation. It's almost like that first Sabbath was the first snow day. All the deadlines, all the projects, all the assignments, all the tasks of being human pushed to the next day, just so that we could rest and be in non-anxious play on Sabbath, the first snow day. <laughs> and so my challenge to you this week is to enjoy Somehow, I know one of the horrible things about the pandemic, right, is it's taken our snow days from us. But we got a few this week, and now that with Zoom, we can do classes online while there's hills that need to be sledded, which is so unfortunate. But we remember what it's like. And so my challenge to you today is to experience the gift of Sabbath rest. Not rest that you get because you deserved it or earned it, but rest that God gives to you. Rest that is the gift of God's gracious presence in Sabbath rest. So do that however you need to do it. Go on a walk in the woods. Go uh, sit down by the fire um, and just be still in God's presence. Read your devotional, whatever it is. Take a few moments today just to be in God's presence, in God's restful Sabbath presence. God's up to something. Be a part of it.